Time now for Round Town. Hey, Anna. Hey, good morning. I'm in Humboldt Park at the National Museum of Puerto Rican Arts and Culture with Professor Jose Lopez to talk about the 100 years of Rafael Tufino. And I love to cover local Puerto Rican artists, but this one is near and dear because he, growing up to us in Puerto Rico, was one of the legendary, legendary artists, a walking legend because he lasted until 100 years. And Jose worked for seven decades. Why is it so important to bring it to Chicago. Because Tufino captures the soul of Puerto Rico. It is, he is the artist of the Puerto Rican people. He takes on amazing themes, including issues of race, issue of woman, issue of the national question of Puerto Rico. He is truly an amazing um, uh, representative uh, or tries to represent through his art, through his creativity and abstraction of our Puerto Rican reality. Around 1950, 1940s, he takes a walk around the island and starts doing that on canvas, exactly. like uh, putting that uh, to on the record. Very well known for his posters. And earlier, um, Jose, I was saying, oh, it must be as a form of communication. But you explained to me that the posters had another um, meaning. The other meaning was that posters were used to advertise events mm -hmm. in the small area, in the in the rural areas of Puerto Rico, where a lot of people did not know how to read or write, and they would actually set an mm -hmm. image that would tell us exactly what was happening if a film was being shown, if there was an exposition, if there was some sort of um, event, cultural event. It would be literally a way of communicating with people who didn't know how to read and write. So the images become very, very important. You were telling me also that up until then, the Puerto Rican artists were very Spain-centric, Spanish-centric, yes. right? Yes. Um, we were a colony of, of the of Spain as well, so everyone looked white and Spanish. Yes. And Tufino starts painting what real Puerto Ricans look yes, like, although exactly. we come in all colors. Yeah. But that is him. Right. This is the one that I love, and you pointed it out yes. over here, Mayor. This is his mother and her granddaughter. This is Gojita, who was his mother, obviously with her amazing African features. And this is very important because in the Puerto Rican tradition of that period, you highlighted more sort of affirming Puerto Rican within the Spanish context. He begins to center the African presence in the Puerto Rican personality, in Puerto Rican culture. That's why the plena is so important yeah. in his work. Yeah. That is why all of the elements that you will see, including one of our greatest leaders, Rafa, uh, Emeterio uh, Emeterio, Ramon Emeterio Betances, and Rafael Cordero are some of his major themes in his work. If you run into him, just ask him any question about Puerto Rico and you'll learn more than you ever have. Doctor, uh, uh, Professor Lopez, thank you so much. Come check out the exhibition for free uh, here until next August. Back to you guys.